Same thing I asked him. You guys had to close seven and three to get this done, and you did it. How does it feel? I mean, it feels great, man. Glory be to God. Uh, just to be able to come out this game healthy. Uh, shots out and, you know, credit to the Houston Texans for going out there. Regardless, they didn't play their starters or not. Those guys competed the entire night. So uh, I think it was good for us no matter, you know, what the game looked like. We got it done. Uh, nine and seven doesn't matter how you get into the party. But now we're in the tournament. So, you know, we're definitely going to have to go on the road and play our best ball against the Patriots, against Brady. And I'm uh, super excited to go back up there and get another chance to go try to go beat him at his home, uh, at his home stadium. So it's going to be super fun. We're going to try to have a great week of practice and uh, do what we need to do to go out there and get a W. What do you like about that challenge going up there as the, you know, the heavy underdog, the defending champ? Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, we have kind of feel like being, you know, the sixth seed was going to be underdogs in pretty much every game we was going to go into. So uh, it's just that road mentality. We're going to have to bring a great defense, a great running game. It don't turn the ball over. I think those are the kind of formula that you need to go win on the road. So if we do those things, I think we'll be great. So like I said, man, it doesn't really matter how we got into the tournament. We're in it and uh, anything can happen. We're trying to make get it to the road to the Super Bowl. What changed for this team October 20th forward? What changed? Uh, man, I, I think we just really start rolling. I mean, I think our offense started playing very well. Uh, those guys have been doing great. Derrick Henry leading rusher in the NFL. Uh, Tannehill, highest passer rating. I mean, those guys have been playing great. A.J. Brown, 1,000 yards. I mean, we have some elite guys on offense. And as a defense, I think we continue to improve, continue to improve. And it's stuff we're always going to have to get better with. But at the end of the day, you know, any, like I said, anything can happen in these playoffs, man. So that's the only thing we're looking about. We don't want to look over the entire season right now. We're looking forward, and that's into the Patriots uh, next week. Was it at all? to imagine Kevin just killing four being in this spot at, at that point was was the postseason hard to win. Uh, honestly, not really, because uh, the entire message when we were two and four was the skies and falling. Uh, we were seeing some good things on film, but it was also some bad stuff and the stuff that was getting us beat. And uh, we thought we knew that we was going to have to go and correct those things, and I think we did it. And we kind of got on the run. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was a tough road to get to this point, but at the end of the day, we're happy we're in the playoffs. And uh, like I said, man, anything can happen at this point. You guys seem to have a little bit of balance everywhere. Front of the defense, back of the defense, January running game, quarterback. That you feel like that makes you guys a pretty hard out, regardless of what your seat is? Yeah, I mean, our confidence is super high. I have confidence in every single guy we have in this locker room to go out there and get the job done. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's good to have uh, going into the playoffs, having confidence. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, it's, it's, it's Tom Brady in the playoffs. And we, we kind of know what we're up against. Uh, so, like I'm telling my guys, we're going to talk about it all week, man. We need our best week of practice so we can have our best game, rather if it's Saturday or Sunday, so we can go and try to get a W in New England.